Well, as it turns out, all I needed to do on my ATX power supply was short the green and the black wire together. You notice I did it here on that 24 pin motherboard connector. So, uh, there's the green wire, and right below it, there's the black wire. And I've shorted them together with a piece of solder. It's kind of a good practice because uh, if you do make a mistake, solder is sort of like a fuse might actually blow rather than tearing something up uh, but in this case no problems no smoke just uh, shorted together popped up and the yellow and black I got 12.13 volts DC on the yellow wire relative to the black common so I'm actually good to go I'm just going to tidy up you know get rid of all this mess I'll keep the green and the black so I can run them out to uh, switch on the front and I will remotely power up mine from the front panel that way but you can just short them if you want to use uh, the switch on the back of the power supply you can just short them short the green and black together on yours but I'm keeping the green and black wires the rest of the stuff I'm going to snip back as close as possible to the the board on the power supply and just tidy it up with the fewest number of wires I'll leave pigtails just long enough that uh, I can tap into them later if I decide I need to, but I'll heat shrink them all, and I'll show you what that looks like here. One thing I did notice when I was uh, snipping all these wires is that the brown and orange wire are actually shorted together. That current sense wire to the 3.3 volt supply wire is shorted together at that Molex connector. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, snip those wires back and short them together back on the, the print and circuit board. But that was already done for me so that's why my power supply came on so I will be uh, snipping these two wires there the orange and the brown that are shorted together so they won't be shorted together up here anymore but then I will uh, back up inside the power supply this big rat's nest most of that's going away but the uh, orange and the brown wire terminate right back in there I'll be shorting those together right at the power supply soldering them, heat shrinking them, all that. So you may not, may need to do that on yours. Okay, we're back off the bench. Clipped off all those nasty extra wires we don't need. Got the rat's nest down to something very manageable. Uh, just briefly, the two yellow and two black wires here go out to this connector. That's the two yellow or plus 12, the two black or ground, or common, rather. And I'll uh, braid those and I'll snip them just as long as they need to be tidy it up and those run straight over to the uh, Arduino and ramps stack. I've got a green wire coming out that's the power on and an extra black wire for ground and short those two together and it'll remotely turn on the power supply so I'm, I'm keeping those for a remote power on. I've also got a gray wire in there that will go with this black wire. The gray wire is the uh, power OK indicator. So that'll run from the gray wire through a 330 ohm resistor, then through a LED, and then to the black wire, which is common. So that will be my power on indicator. When I flip the switch that shorts the green to the black wire, uh, current will flow through the gray wire, through a resistor, through an LED, and back to the common black wire, and that'll indicate that uh, it's, it's on and ready to go. Uh, I do have a, a little bushing over here. I'll be reinstalling that into this U-shaped cutout there so that there's no wire fraying. And the green and gray and black wires will actually terminate up inside the power supply and I'll run a nice three conductor cable out for that. So all three wires, common jacket around them. So it just looks like one cable coming out. That'll be nice and neat. And uh, I did have one little issue here. The, this uh, white wire was rubbing inside this fan so I went ahead and tied that up while I was in there. Similarly I left a yellow and black uh, three of each going to a connector here. I won't use the connector but I just left that all intact. I wire tied that, tied it up inside nice and neat. That's in case I decide I need 12 volts somewhere else later on. I'll, I'll kept that. So all I need to do now is uh, put it all back together and uh, be good to go. I did have one little issue when after I clipped all the wires and stuff, powered it up, 
it was dead and then I realized oh yeah I didn't short the green and black again so other than that everything went just fine whole thing took maybe 15 minutes tops and that was being extra neat and fussy so it's a pretty simple modification it's not as daunting a task as it looks like and I'll be back showing you the finished product here although with the green black and uh, gray wire still hanging out but I'll go ahead and put it back together well there it is all put back together a lot neater than it was it's a pretty inexpensive 30 amp 12 volt supply should be plenty to power my 3d printer including multiple extruders and heated build platform all the stepper motors and as well as the control electronics overall pretty simple pretty simple modification nothing to worry about not nearly as bad as it sounds so don't don't be afraid to dig right in and take care of it uh, get 3d printing